after the ball is over, after the skein is done, after the die lots finished, and you are short just one. Many a knitter has made. A tearful and desperate call, pleading with their local yarn shop, go after that ball. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Pen Hook and Needles podcast, episode five sixteen. Today is Monday, August eighth, twenty twenty two. As we are recording, um, my name is Marlisha, also known as Lady Furnico, and I'm. Tali, also known as Francisca Gypsy. Mm-hmm. want to welcome all new and returning viewers to the Fun in the Woman Cave. If you are new, we're glad that you found us, and we hope you'll come back. And if you are returning, we're always glad to have you with us. If you are new or returning and in the shadows, please feel free to join us officially. All you have to do is tap the little subscribe button on your right, and not my right, your right, and... Um, tap the little bell so you'll get notifications when the podcast goes up and if you want to be able to take place take place I always say that you want to take part in all the alongs then and the camaraderie and all the ability to get prizes and things like that that doesn't happen on YouTube that happens over at our homepage which is phnpodcast.freeforums.net okay it's phnpodcast.freeforums.net for next thing, no, no, doesn't yeah, cost, doesn't it, it doesn't cost anything. It does sound like one of those commercials. Yeah. So if you say just right, out. the link is in the description box below, and we can put the two artists back that gave me the new links. Okay, um, I don't think I ever removed it. Yeah, but it's not there. That that's not the right place. Uh, or maybe I hadn't put it on here. Maybe, maybe I had it on maybe. the old. So anyway, that's where you go to find to find that all the alongs and all the prizes, opportunities, and things like that. Okay, now. um... You said you have how many altogether? Three. Altogether, including your designs? Designs are on their own. Designs are in shop news. Okay. They well, always have been. Because, okay. Or they have been once I realize I'm just showing a bag. Because mine last week was not in shop news. It should have been. But it wasn't. Okay. Maybe because I didn't know it was there. Okay. Um, it's supposed to be in shop news. All right. So I have six and she has three. So in my... I think because we were trying not to make the just a bag count as a project because it's kind of (laughs) like it doesn't feel like it's a project (laughs) except it is in my i loved my crochet owl bag and because i'm i I drink left-handed bag mug because i drink left-handed you can't see the little owls let me turn i am not in fact left-handed i am not not left-handed either and yes that is a reference and we had to say it yes princess bride princess bride wesley and uh Montoya. montoya So yes, that this was given to me by the very lovely Crystal, who is crocheting Huvian. Not crocheting Huvian. Chronically crocheting. Crocheting Huvian is Laura, who also spoils as rotten. Yes. But this is from Chronically Crocheting, who's Crystal. Thank you, Crystal. And in this Maybe you should have had a caffeinated tea after all. I tell you. I'm having Nutella, which is a blend by Woody over at Adagio. And um, it's over there, so I'm not getting it. She's I getting, have mine. She has her. And I'll show it. Because we're having the same PT. I was supposed to help her prepare it, and then I realized I forgot something I normally do. I use the chocolate honey, and I didn't tell her that, so hers yeah. is... Yeah, because I, I... Not that I don't know how to prepare my own tea, but I've been doing it so often with the smaller mug that I'm not quite sure how much to put in. And sometimes you'll say that you like the way my tea tastes better, the way I prepare it. Mm-hmm. And this is starting... This, this needs to cool to get fully... fully um, Oh, the full flavor of it. It's chocolate yeah. and coconut and... That's... No, Nutella's not coconut. That you're, that's almond uh, joy oh, okay. and um, the other one you have. That I like. What's that? Um, well, I don't know the name of it. The candy bar or something on the... But it's candy, supposed, yes. But it's supposed to candy be bar chai. Uh, Mount. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't have that because it tastes like a chai. This is Nutella. But this one's Nutella. Um, so this would have things like hazelnut and things like that in it. And chocolate. Well, yeah. Obviously, chocolate. Chocolate. Um, Let's have chocolate. I think Nutella actually is like hazelnut and chocolate in reality. Something like that, yeah. Or I don't um, know, some kind of nut and chocolate. Isn't yeah. Kind of a peanut buttery kind of thing. The I, first, I remember the first time I tasted I'm like, this is heaven. Yeah, the first time I had that, I was stationed. My, my I wasn't stationed. My dad was stationed in Belgium, and I was in high school, and they had it over there. And, oh, my gosh, that was so good. 
I, I bet it's not dairy free, so I bet I can't have it, which probably is a good thing. Oh man, that was so good. Anyway, so yes, Nutella. I'm using my This Is What My Head Looks Like um, mug. Yes, it is an oboe for you newcomers. Um, I probably wouldn't have known if that was an oboe myself until. It almost looks like a clarinet, but it's an oboe. Right, and I had a, uh, a really good friend in uh, college, we still do talk occasionally, who um, played an oboe. Mm -hmm. um, and that, study partners. Of course, we named that before that, and I was calling Daddy an oboe before you were born. True, true. Um, although we weren't podcasting yet. You weren't consistently calling me an oboe. No, not then. you. You were Daddy. calling Dad that, but I, at I, that point. Yeah, but I didn't know Emily anyway. No, you didn't. Um, it's just, and not, not to that point. Uh -huh. not, not to know that she, you know, you told me yeah. about that after, you know. Or if I did, didn't really connect because it wasn't that important. No, because I was calling Daddy Oboehead already. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Never mind why. But yeah, she she was um, actually, because they didn't have a whole lot of oboe players uh, in the school, I guess it would be, what, uh, band? Orchestra, probably. Orchestra, yeah, orchestra. Mm. Uh, An oboe, I think, can go either way. I think it might have been orchestra, though. Um, she was very valuable because there weren't a whole ton of people playing oboes. <laughs> I guess it takes a lot of... Um, uh, it's a, you had a lot, lot of lung it's capacity. A wind, it's wind instrument. You know, your flutes and your oboes and your trumpets and trombones. And, and I think the bigger it is, probably the more... Can you imagine trying to play one of those tubas? <laughs> oh, gee. Your lungs probably... Your lung capacity probably squeezes out everything. Uh, or maybe you're someone who maybe is a bit... Uh, a bigger person maybe who has a bit of a bigger... Well, I think you almost have to be in order to carry that thing. True. I mean, the marching bands, you know. I think there's, Wait, a, I think there's a reason that you, most of them are men. Are you... Although, although there are also ones where you definitely can't walk with them, like, to the ground almost. Um, maybe not the, I'm not sure what they're called. It's a, 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 it's a big wind instrument and, yeah, yeah. and sets on the ground. Uh, yeah, I guess. Have you ever... Maybe yeah, it sets on the ground where they're it's, sitting. It's, it's probably a bass trombone or maybe something. Maybe that... Maybe. I, I mean, I don't know a whole lot about wind instruments, but... Um, I've never had really much of a desire to play a wind instrument. The only one I was interested in, and I think it's considered a wind instrument, is the flute. Yes, I, I the really flute like and the recorder flute. are both considered wind yes. because anything that you're, and I do have a recorder, mm -hmm. which I, if I could just figure out how the notes are configured with those little holes, I I can play by ear on it, but it's just trying to figure out where the notes are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, that be it as it may, um, I guess we should move on to our longs. I can do the shop stuff and shop stuff. Yeah, because that's uh, a different section. Let's see. If you are ever in Winchester. Just a little plug for my friend Laura Gavis. Um, her shop is open now in in uh, Winchester, Virginia. So if you're in the area and you want to go to a local yarn shop, just drop by and see her. Open um, again. She was open, then COVID happened. COVID happened. Then, yeah. She's she's. I don't know if she's fully. I think she said she was fully open. She was only open two hours on Saturday, mm -hmm. but um, she is open, and um, she's really friendly. She's really nice. She has. She's a small shop, but she has a good mm -hmm. selection of yarn for all that. So you yes. might want to check her out if you are in the area. And she's in a really good spot because it's right by the uh, historical, historical old town, Winchester. Mm -hmm. So there's a nice walk plot. And then there's a children's museum across the street. So, science museum, I think it is. So it is. if you do get there and you visit, tell her I sent you. Tell her we sent you. She'd like to hear that. Okay? They have that nice British uh, restaurant in that area. <laughs> yes. Yes, they do. Okay, it's in the walk plots. Yeah. All right, so let's go on here. I want a cup of tea. Mm. It's good, but I need to let it cool a little more. All right. The, That's why I'm not really touching mine yet. Arthritis, cardiac, dysautonomia, cal, cal, lal, 2022 is, um, let's see, that's uh, July 1st through September 30th. So we're right smack dab in the middle of this along. And there's a lot of activity going on in there, which is nice. And I try to at least like some things at least a couple times a week so that you don't think that we've deserted you. <laughs> and I do comment on occasion, especially if people tag me. I will, call, I will come and comment on them. Um, so J July 1st to, to through September 30th. The Whips and FOs are eligible for prizes. Um, projects have to be knit, loom knit, or crocheted for this one. One whip per project per week and the FO whenever it's finished. The tag for Instagram is hashtag PHN, excuse me, ACD 2012, not 2012, 2022. I have to fix this in my notes. It is fixed on the thread. It's just not fixed in my notes. Tag your projects, hashtag PHN, ACD 2022, okay, on Instagram. Um, 
I was thinking of ACDC. You must you must work on the projects during a long. You can't do you can't just put something that fits the parameters that you finished already. It has to be worked on during the along, okay? And the projects have to be red or some shade of red, including shades of pink, shades of blue, shades of purple, or shades of teal to be eligible for prizes, okay? Because those are the colors that we have associated with this particular along, um, heart and dysautonomia and arthritis, okay? I don't know if arthritis has a color. It does. I looked it up. What is it? Purples and blues. Oh, it is. It was purples okay, and blues. well, that's convenient. I think that's what it was. Well, that's why I added it in. Well, I wasn't sure if you chose purple because it was a transition between... No. <clears throat> no. I mean, it could have done, but mm -hmm. no. Um, okay, featured patterns and featured yarns are as they always are. Um, my stuff, Lady Vertical Creations, Taya's stuff, Franciscan Gypsy Design, and Laura Concert stuff, which is Lollipop Girl yarns, and I think it's Laura Concert Creations. I think she has two uh, different things. I, I can't keep track of all her handles. <laughs> well, I'm just talking about her, her patterns versus her yarn. I have no idea. <laughs> So those are all eligible for two chances at a prize for the finished object only, but if you have a featured yarn and a featured pattern together in an FO, it can be eligible for three chances at a prize, but you must be responsible for your own multiple postings, okay? Um, and I don't think there's any special other people that are featured at this particular long. Now, in case you haven't been to the threads recently, I did put an announcement, um and a note at the bottom of the, uh, of, the, of the group there. We are extending the Christmas in July 2022 because I got lazy and didn't feel like pulling for prizes, so you guys have longer to put projects in. You know, if, you might want to make sure you do that before projected surgery date because you know you're not going to want to do it. I'll, I'll do it. I, it. The slated date is Sunday, next Sunday. Okay, is, because you know the closer <clears throat> we get, the less you're going to want to do it. And then after surgery, you're not going to want to do it. So it is slated, uh, I don't know what the date is. Yesterday was the I think it's the seventh. 14th. It's the 14th, I think, Sunday. The only reason why I remember is I sent you that uh, Novena for Lady Perpetual Help, and I had it set for Sunday. Right. So it's going to be, uh, this one's going to end um, Sunday, okay? And I will pull for prizes so I can say it on that Monday. So if the thread is open a little longer on Sunday, you know, because I go to church and I got, you know, all these things I have to do. You might have a few more hours, but don't wait. Put, put your stuff in, okay? And I will pull for prizes for the podcast, the following podcast next week, okay? Now, I lost it. This, this runs, um, okay, I already said when it runs. I, I keep losing my place here. There you are. Is that there we go. Are? Okay. Okay, this one, it has to be Christmas-themed. The items can be knit, loom knit, crocheted, or they can be handmade Christmas cards. Okay, so, you know, that doesn't have to be knitted or crocheted. It can be paper, okay? <laughs> paper cards. Oh, I think I forgot to put the sugar in. I think I only have the honey. Oh, okay. You want well, my sugar's up there? No, my sugar's right here. Please. Here. Um, Did you pass me your thing? Thanks, because it doesn't taste like I put it in there. I think I forgot. I think I was talking to you. Okay, and now the... Okay, so limited... Okay. They must be Christmas gifts or Christmas related, like decor or like, you know, ornaments or whatever. Thank you. Um, items and Christmas colors. Now, we did have a question in the thread. Thank you for the person who asked and thank you to the person who tagged me. Um, Christmas colors. Reds, greens, blues, silver, gold, white, cream, pinks, and purples. Okay, I did add it to the thread. Pinks or purples are also because we include Advent in Christmas. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes. Uh, thank you for asking. Um, they will be eligible for two chances at a prize only. Feature yarns and patterns. Anything in, you know, anything that's by me, my yarn and my one pattern, Talia's yarn, uh, patterns, and Laura's yarn or patterns, if it meets the parameters, is eligible for two chances at a prize for the and finished object. Like almost ah, like parameters. ah, look, you can show me after. Don't you know that you derail me and I can't forget my thought. All right. But you have it all written. No, I was Okay. Yarns you went through the colors. Okay. I did the colors. The featured yarns there you and go. featured patterns by themselves in a finished object is worth two chances at a prize for the finished object only. If you use a pattern and a yarn that's featured and, and it meets the criterion, it's three chances at a prize as always, okay? Um, you are responsible for your own multiple 
posting. I don't know. What were you going to show me that was worth getting me off track? I didn't realize it would get you off track. Um, look, you have pinks, you have purples, you have all the different yes, Christmassy it's colors. It's very Christmassy. You oboe head. Mm. I don't there think that means what you think it means. It means exactly. When I say something, it means exactly, precisely what I mean it to me say. What is it? Completely mangled, but I know exactly what I was talking You're about. You're trying to do Mary Poppins. No, no, no. No. No, no. No. You're not trying to do Mary Poppins. No. Okay. You're late. A wizard is never oh, late. Oh, yes. I'm He's sorry. That, was, on time. that wasn't a very good I know. Uh, attempt to... Well, I knew it in my head it sounded much better than it came out of my mouth. No, it sounded like you were trying to do Mary Poppins. No. No. That would have been worse. Uh -huh. Okay. PHNT and Tails Cal Cal Lao is running all year. Okay. And um, let's see. Basically the same rules, so I'm not going to go through those. Except for the featured patterns and yarns are not just mine, Talia's, and Laura's. We also bring in KF Jones, who's Briny Bears from Bakery Bears, and Mom from Bakery Bears. Sorry, I, I, the only reason I say something is you said from the really, really quickly, and I wanted to understand that it wasn't a compound name. Okay, um, okay, Bakery Bears, and um, K, and then um, uh, Mom Cook and Joanna Johnson. Um, as long as they are reflecting the tea, a tea and or tails theme, they are featured patterns and they or and they can be um, two two L. You messed me up and now I can't talk. Okay, uh, gee Willikers, wow. Okay then, it is if the featured patterns are two chance and a prize for finished object. Featured yarns two chance and a prize. K F Jones has uh, yarns as well as patterns that are mostly stash. They, people have them in their stash. He doesn't sell them anymore. But if you have it and you use it and it fits the theme, two, two chances for a prize for the finished object. And if you have the yarn and the pattern married together, regardless of the feature, it'd be my yarn and her pattern or whatever, um, that's three chances at a prize. Um, but you are responsible for your own multiple postings. Yes, I am older than dirt and I cannot be distracted. There are prizes. This is the third quarter that we're in right now. Okay, and we have one more to go. The tortoise versus hare. Mm. This is better. It's really good. It needed. It was missing sugar. All right. Now the tortoise versus hare is not ours. It's Laura's. Okay, and we always co-host with her when she asks because we really want to and it's fun. Mm. And so we've been doing this with her since its inception. I think this is what like eight years old or something like that, or six mm. years old or something like that. It's something like that. I don't know if it's quite as old as eight. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's seven. I don't know. It's it's been, know. it's been going for a long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And I guess we kind of went back and said, you know, two, three, maybe five. I don't know. I was already designing. Yeah. Well, I was just trying I to started designing in 2015, I believe. But how many times did the tortoises win before the hares won two in a row? I don't know. All I know is that I started designing, I think it was in 2015, and we started tortoise versus hare because of the oops pattern. Yeah. Um, even if I didn't design exactly 2015, I think Oops was in 2015. Right. 2015, 2016. So well, she, it couldn't have been any earlier than that. She, yeah. Because yeah. that's why the pattern was started. So it could be, Oops. it could be seven, six or seven years. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um. And we also had to have, um, uh, Timmy as right, well. Right, Because that was the whole thing. So these, this <laughs> I haven't heard a lot of smack talk, but we're just having fun. I think a lot of people are doing both. Yeah, yeah. Which is really fun too, because it could be tortoise and or you know, hair. So it could be tortoise versus hair, tortoise and hair. Now Laura's probably going to smack me one because she wanted tortoise versus hair, but because um, she thinks bunnies are evil. And um, I love bunnies. But anyway, um, this one runs until the end of. September, I think it is. Yeah, because it runs concurrent with yes. our other along. So yes. this runs from July through September. And let's see. The only real uh, rules for this is that it's tortoise or hare related. It's, it includes everything. Laura has opened this wide open, and because it's her along, we are following her rules. And so it can be knit, luminate, crocheted, paper crafts, um, glitter. Glitter stuff, tumblers, keychains, you know, paper mache, <laughs> sewing, whatever it is you do, um, this is wide open. And so, you know, 
be creative, let yourself go. And I know there's quite a few people who've been doing cross stitch. That's that's another one. So um, yeah, just put it on in there as long as it's tortoise or hair related. And as I said, you know the featured patterns and featured yarns remain the same. It's our basic ones, mine, Taya's, and Laura's. Okay, for this, the hashtag is hashtag tortoise versus hair 2022 on Instagram. And and that's about it for that prize. We do have prizes, so yeah. That's all we have to say about that. I'm getting kind of hot and kind of cold because we did. My husband and I went for a walk before the weather got overly hot, and it was really it was still hot. It was over 90, so I was hot, and now I'm cold, and then I'm drinking tea, so I'm getting warm again. So. And you do two in a row. Mm-hmm. Okay. She's doing twice, thrice. Twice. Twice, twice. No, twice, thrice. You double me. You said two in a row. Well, you're in two in a row now, but twice, three times. Twice, well, thrice. Well, that's not what you said. Okay. That is absolutely what no, I said. No, you, you said twice, twice. You said no, twice, I said twice, thrice. You said two in a row, and then you said twice, thrice. You didn't speci specify. Well, I meant two projects in a row, then I do one. Well, I, yeah, what I'm saying is you didn't say that I'd have to do it continually. You just said I had to do two in a row. That's why I then said twice, thrice. Okay, where, what, okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to work on anything much right now, but we'll... this is in my Knitter's Magic soft bag, and it's black with purple flowers on it. And this is my Welcome Little One project from the On the Porch Blanket Knitting Pattern by 5410 Studios. And I did a little bit of work on this. Um, I'm in the middle of the row, so you're not going to be able to really see very well. I can see. Well, if you flip it, hold on. It's not going to hurt to hurt you any. It's still on there the way it... Oh, I see. We can leave this side like that. But at least we'll get a better idea. So you can see, it is growing. I mean, it's not any kind of change. This The other side is the same as this one. And this one here. And it's just, it's coming along slowly because I'm not working on it a lot. My hands have been bothering me a little bit. We've been moving around a lot, doing a lot of stuff. Been quite a bit of thunderstorms. Yeah, there have been quite a bit of thunderstorms, so I was I was tired. <laughs> and then, of course, with my husband's birthday weekend this mm -hmm. weekend, so that's always like, okay, he was home Thursday, not just Friday, so it was busy. Um, yeah, so this is this is what I've I've got. I'm I'm not going to worry too much about working on things right now. I don't know what you guys will see next week, but <laughs> there we go. Um, and this is my bear yarn. It's um, bear necessities, and it's a bulky weight. Honestly, this should have been done like years ago. Well, if everything goes off okay with uh, getting the surgery when we want it, maybe you'll have to have that for the waiting room. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to bring in a bunch of different things for mm -hmm. the surgery and just, you know, work on them. Hopefully different kinds of projects so my hands don't get too right. um, annoyed with me. The other one I want to show you is... Um, in my Knitting's My Bag Large Angels Bag. This is my Film Noir shawl pattern by the, from the scrap shawl pattern by Anastasia Sattel. My project, not my pattern. Yeah, don't take care of her pattern. Well, no, I said I said Film Noir, Film Noir shawl pattern. Oh. And, mm -hmm. then, I, and then I said her pattern. Mm -hmm. um, where's my hook at? I almost lose my hook. There it is. Okay. So I did some work on this. And it grew a little bit. I'm not sure how much more I'm going to go. I, I measured it against Talia's shawl, my shawl, to you see. You did last time, mine. Yeah, to see how done again on yours. I think, yeah, I think I want to do it a little bit more before I switch colors, and then I have to figure out what I'm going to do next. I haven't decided if I'm going to go ahead and go right into the dark mm -hmm. or right into the light, but it really kind of offends my sensibilities to just go straight dark. So I'm probably going to do this one next. Why would it offend your sensibility? Because I don't think it looks as good. Oh, okay. Um, I want to. Uh, I have an aesthetic that I like, and I can do scrappy. Witness sort Laura, of. <laughs> Witness Laura shawl. <laughs> yes, but it pains you. It does. I don't particularly care to be really, just unless it's one of those blankets, then I don't mind doing the, absolute pull it out of the hat blindfolded mm -hmm. kind of thing. But if I'm going to wear it, I want it to have. You know, some cohesion cohesion to it, and people are like, "What did you do? I mean, mm. did you spill paint on that or something?" Um, now, Laura's actually is turning out really well, mm -hmm. but um, mine, I'm a little more subdued. So, and this is in, I believe I'm using a 
four weight for this. No, this is DK. It's a three weight. I don't can you tell what color that is. Black and white. And yeah, gray. they can. So it's actually black and cream and gray. Because honestly, there's no real white. Even the light from the lamps is kind of a cream in the noir. So mm -hmm. and noirs are probably one of my favorite genres in film. And I just like the mood to it. And um, I've been wanting a black and white shawl for a while. Mm -hmm. It's something you wear just about anything. Mm -hmm. It's your turn. Okay. Yes, you showed two, didn't you? I did. So, for me, um, first is, I think this is the first. No, this one's the first one. In my Silver Shed USA, I don't even need to go through my show notes because there's so few things to choose from. My Silver Shed USA um, books bag with a gold interior. Pretty. Um, oh, the only reason why I need my show notes is because I forget pattern names. <laughs> <laughs> the project is um, the Kingfisher sock. Oh, right, yeah. Um, and this one, this one I think is one that's not K's pattern. Um, okay, keep track of all your patterns. There it is. Uh, I think it's like vanilla cream or something like that. I apologize in advance for any noise you might hear because both my husband and Davina are out in the other room. And Davina doesn't have really good volume control. Did we turn on the blue light though? Yes. Okay. I did. Um, and uh, both people in question know that we're podcasting. It's a vanilla latte <coughs> sock by Virginia Rose Jeans. So I knew it was the other lady. I love that name. I wonder if that's a real name. I mean, what Rose Jeans? Yeah, it's it's a Rose Dash Jeans. Yeah, I wonder if Jeans is the last name though, or if it's. Huh. Well, she could have been like Nee Rose, and then she married someone named Jean. But what I'm saying is, I wonder if that's an actual name. It, I mean, it could be. I've never heard that as a name before. It's kind of interesting, you know. Um, is J E. A N E S. Yeah. So, um, I wonder what nationality that that is. And I, I I like the etymology of names. That's what I was wondering. Mm -hmm. Here <coughs> is the first sock. Um, the colorway for the main part of the sock is Kingfisher. Turned out well. Um, and this is um. I always say it wrong because it, I always feel like it shouldn't be. Um, juniper. Juniper. Thank you. So juniper is for the heels and toe. I have the other sock going. Um, Made a little progress? Or a lot? Um, I think a little. I was working on other things. Mm -hmm. I'm actually not completely sure. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How Don't do that. that. Don't mm. do that. So, that's this one. I do look forward to when I have this done. I probably should pick up the pace a little bit on it. But. Is your dad out there doing the yard? No, I don't think so. I'm sure it's, it could be someone else. Besides, Davina was talking the holiday somebody. That's right. I hope not. Yeah, it's very hot out there. Maybe they're outside. And Mr. Anderson is doing the yard. That could be because honestly, she was just a second ago talking about to somebody. Yeah, and I didn't hear the um, alarm. Yeah. So. Okay. And I just this. find a way to not lose my stitches here because that would be a bad thing. Although this is easier to fix than say knitting. <laughs> That's a, um, it's a matter of opinion. Well, my opinion in this case, for me, is the only one that really matters. Indeed. For me, I'm just sitting here like, crochet, it drives me nuts that I can't drop down and fix it. There. I hate the fact that I had to pull back. All right, let me just get another drink here. Mm. As someone I know would say, that's the stuff. Okay. All right, my next one is in my Knit for Brains Owl Teapot bag that was given to me by Laura Concert. Thank you, Laura. I told you we get spoiled. Mm -hmm. Makes us happy. Um, this is my Arwen's Hooded Cow project from the Thorns Hooded Cow pattern. And I'm not even going to attempt right now for the name because I have to look on my pattern. This is... I did a little bit on here. But not a whole lot. I think I'm still on the knit row. I don't think I've progressed overly far on it. Yeah, I'm still on the knitting rounds. I think I'm going to like this. It's a really pretty color. Mm -hmm. 
Um, I know Davina would like it if I don't want it because she likes this color. It's, you know, that gray blue. Yeah. And it's not a hard pattern. Like I said, it's just no. one of those things where you have to work on it. And um, I haven't. I need to get back to the hood because... Mm. That is so hard. Oh, that's I, should, I should have chosen something to have name too. Um, I um, don't know where I was going with that. You have to finish this project. You have to go back to work on it because... Oh, because I already have the yarn wound up. I wound it up when I wound up Loki. Um, so it's not like I don't have the yarn ready to go. It's right. just I haven't worked on it. Well, this keeps curling on the bottom. Oh, yeah, it's gonna. You that's See, if you look at it, you can see it's curling on the bottom. And even when you block, it's gonna curl to because you're wearing it. Right. I'm not sure I'm gonna block it. <laughs> it's a cow. It's got a hood on it. I guess I could possibly block it. I don't block it tight, just enough to try to help take care of that, you know, stuff right. and it curl a little bit. Right. So that's one. And then my next one, and this is Miss Babs yarn in the blue slate colorway. Um, the next one is in my Country Roads. It's a Country Roads blanket project from the Jelly Roll pattern by KF Jones. Oh, here it is. And the bag was given to me by Brittany. Thank you, Brittany. I love it. So, I did some on here, but again, not a whole lot. I'm about ready to change colors, maybe. I want to weave in these ends. So I may surprise you and not have any actual work done, but all the ends woven in because it's That's hard. That's work. It's, it's, hard to, to, um, it's hard to work on it when all the ends are sticking out all over the place. Because, mm -hmm. you know, knit in a, an end somewhere. Right. That's not supposed to be knitted in. Mm -hmm. So this last color I'm working with is the um, Little Bunny Foo Foo, my color. Uh, Little Bunny Foo Foo, so you can see. Now you were working on that last time too, weren't you? I was. I've been working on it for the last several weeks. I've done like maybe, you know, two or three rows at a time. And it doesn't get very far with this weight yarn with the small needles. Right. So, you know, I think it takes maybe, you know. Wait, how small are you calling those needles? These are sevens, I think. That's not small. They are for me. I think you're talking like a four or three or something. I don't use that size. At least not very often. Because unlike the hooks where I can get a handle that has a grip that doesn't hurt my hands, if I get needles that are too small and I have to grip them too tightly or whatever, it's going to hurt my hands. Mm -hmm. So I don't tend to like smaller needles. It just makes me laugh that you're calling a seven a small. Well, it is when I use nines all the time. Or, or tens, because I generally use those with um, with my scrap shawls and stuff like that. Nines, I, I mean sevens are comfortably. Uh, I like sevens in there. You know, they're they're not little babies and they're not elderly. They're right there in their prime. I generally like six to about nine. Mm -hmm. um, six is kind of. I'll even use a five once in a while. I have fours. I I think I had some projects of K's that I was doing that had fours. She um, likes fours. She likes fours. So, um, but basically, I do like sevens. Um, they're they're nice size. They're not too small. But you can get a nice, um, still a nice uh, thin fabric with it. Not a real bulky kind of thing. So yeah, that's depends on your weight of yarn. This is this is um, this is going to be a while, regardless of what it ends up being. It's going to be a while because it's just I take it out when I feel like it and right. I need to untangle all this stuff. So it means I don't want to do anything on it because it's all tangled up. Right. <laughs> so um, I probably should just sit down one day and untangle it. And mm -hmm. and then, you know, are you okay, Ty? I'm tired, but we, I only have one more, pro uh, two more projects. Okay, well, why don't you get started? Um, so um, next for me is in my... Um, Adelaide Cottage Bunny Bag. Um, this was a gift from Laura Concert, Crocheting Hoovian. And the project is Tinseltown. The uh, pattern is the Dandelion Socks by K.F. Jones. I have turned the heel. Um, this also has Juniper as a heel, as a cuff heel, and it will have toes. Uh, for in juniper as well. I turned the heel, finished the gusset, just working on the foot. 
This is a rather dark Christmas. Well, it's Victorian Christmas. But it's fun to work. And it's sparkly. Sparkle, 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 sparkle. It's quite sparkly. Shiny, shiny. And that's a Beware the Bat reference for Magpie. Magpie, yep. And she is an actual comic villain. Yeah, she's a little creepy. She's, I think it's the way she talks. It's kind of... Well, she's she's truly disturbed. Yep. Even in Arkham, she'd do just about anything if someone would give her something shiny. She is really disturbed. I just need to fill this, finish this row here. I have three stitches to go, yeah. so... With something this small, I don't like having it on two needles. Just kind of finish it off there. Okay. That takes care of that. <laughs> All right. You need to stop doing that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go sleepy. And then you'll have to do the whole podcast. Yeah, all that's, that's not going to work very well. Well, well but don't, follow, don't do that. Don't no yawn. promises. No yawning. Yeah, that's not going to happen. It's a yawn-free zone. That's, that's it's simply not going to happen. I don't know if you fall asleep. This is going to just be a blank thing because everything's going to be quiet. Uh, let's see here. All right. Um, punishing me for something I can't help. Well, I shouldn't be punished by it either. Mm. All right, let me see here. Um, in my large silver shed USA PA10 10 year anniversary bag is my spring flowers baby blanket from the Sarah Bell scarf pattern by Sarah Sweethearts. And her name is not Sarah Sweethearts, but <laughs> yeah, whatever. Actually, that's her pattern, her designing name. And she's not available anywhere online anymore. Yeah. You just can't find just, her. Mm -mm. We think that she just went through and systematically removed herself because it's just too thorough to have been yeah. like she just stopped. I mean, she's nowhere. You see references for her, but you can't but find um, hide her hair. The fact that she ever created, created a pattern. Yeah, the patterns are all. Yeah. Yeah, they just they aren't around anymore. It's just sad because she's really talented. So here we go. And this has grown a little bit. I did work on this a little bit, I think. I don't know if you can see the subtle pinks and blues in the white. There's green and white and pink. I think on the main camera that they probably can't, not on the screen that we have. But, um, and this is a lot of fun. It's, you know, I've done so many of these that once I get started, I don't need to pat, I don't need to follow the pattern. Kind of like the scrap shawl. I just mm -hmm. kind of go. And um, the only thing that can be a little bit of a difficulty is if my hands are bothering me. It's got more than one part to the stitch. So right. instead of just doing like one stitch, you're doing like, you know, three or four movements for the, for the stitch. Mm -hmm. And so it's like you're doing double or triple or quadruple what you would be doing on a normal project. Right. But it's okay. I, it's, it's, I've been blessed that I can do it at least for a short period of time and get some work done. I like this. I always have this on the, on the hook. This, that in your shawl. That in my shawl, yep. Yeah. And this yarn is ice yarn. It was given to me by Kara. Thank you very much, Kara because I got started on these ice yarns by people who uh, gave it to me because I'd never had it before. Right. Okay, and I guess I, that was my second one, wasn't it? Um, oh, I guess I have one more. No. Let me just get to a point where this is not going to fall out and unravel. And don't go to sleep on me. Okay. We're trying to find a time when it's good for her, but there is no such thing. There is none. Because it might be good right before we start, and then it will change in the course. And there is no predicting. This, I just want to finish this stitch off, and then I will get my last project here. Okay, there we go. All right. And I'm still on the first skein of yarn, so this is actually going pretty far for one skein of yarn. I may get a, another blanket out of that if, if it goes oh, like yeah. this, you know? Oh, yeah. That all depends on how large you want. You know, if I do, if I do three and three, I should mm -hmm. be able to see. Well, maybe one. It depends on how big the blanket is. It's, it's going to, I'm, I'm going to have a good amount of yarn. Mm -hmm. So that's good. We'll have to see. The next one. Yeah, I just didn't want to um, catch it in the zipper. Right. Uh, sweetheart, so I, just, I have to keep track of what I'm doing because I'm not working all my projects, just working every other one right now. Um, I guess I did two in a row here, Country Roads. 
All right. The next one is um, my virtual hugs pro a shawl project from the Scrap Shawl Pattern by Anastasia Satel. I did work on this one a little bit. Um, I actually ripped it back to the point where that yarn was broken. I, I it was really it, it was bothering me, and I didn't want that to be a weak point in the yarn. Right. In the in the project, so. No, honestly, when there's the, the kind of the errors in the packaging and the yarn, I usually get rid of it, or if there's fraying or whatever. Because I showed it to her, I said, oh, yeah, Mom, you got When I got there, I said I, I couldn't live with it. So, yeah, that was needed to be gotten rid of. But I am at least to the point where I was before. I think I had to take out a row and a half or something like that because I hadn't gotten very far. So, And this is really pretty. Um, oh, it's nice and heavy. It is. It's it's definitely a scrap kind of shawl. Right. And it reminds me kind of of gypsies. Hmm. Um, when you see them in the movies, you know. Right. Um, just really colorful and fun and, and all that kind of stuff. And I've got all kinds of different yarns in here. The DK weight. So I've got Miss Babs. I've got Malabrigo in here. Um, I don't think I have any of mine in here, but, um, it's, it's just, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's very, I just, you know, pick up the hook and just do a couple rows watching a movie or for at a doctor's appointment, which is where, you know, which I was, <laughs> what? I know you're falling asleep. What are we talking about? Yeah. Don't, don't even go there. I think I had this when I went to my doctor's appointment. Um, last week, so the dentist appointment, I didn't have time to work on it, but the doctor's appointment I had a little bit of time. I forget you had a dental appointment. Yeah, that was Friday. Oh, that's right. That dental appointment. I'm sorry. You say dental appointment, I don't think of the stuff for your jaw. I mm -hmm. think of teeth cleaning. Yeah. But this is, like I said, there's not a whole lot to tell about this except it is growing. I did rip it back to that point and and, re and redid it because I didn't want it to be weak there. And so... I, I hope that now I don't have any more issues with that kind of this yarn. This is um, this yarn is um, I don't know if this is Miss Babs. No, I don't think this is Miss Babs. Do you know what this is? Um, no. Hmm. Well, whatever it is, it's pretty, and um, I haven't had any more problems with it. So hopefully. We address the problem. That's that. That's all I have to say about that. Hello? What? <laughs> I said that's all I have to say about that. Oh, okay. Um, then my final one is in my um, little skein in the big wool. Oh, sorry, hold on. It's tangled. Are you tangled in it? Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, and little skein in the big wool bag Velveteen Rabbit, only one of the few drawstring bags that has survived years of onslaught, and um, you didn't this, say maltreatment. This in holds my starburst socks. Uh, the pattern is Vanilla Cream by K. F. Jones of Bakery Bears fame, and. I am in the gusset decreases. This is Laura's yarn. Um, Very pretty too. The main one is flamingoing at the pool, flamingoing at the pool, and the yellow is highlighter. I think the pink that I'll be adding to second sock will be is pinkalicious. Oh, they're pretty. So, um, yeah, these are fun. The other sock will be the same thing, just with a bright pink heel and toe and cuff. Mm. So. Yep, that's it for that. Okay, I think that's it for projects. Yes, that leads us on to stash enhancement, which we don't. I have. have. Oh, you do have. I have. Um, our church, <laughs> our church um, had a giveaway. Uh, Father announced at the uh, homily, I think, or at the end of the mass. That's a, you know, they over the years they've amassed all these really good Catholic books, and so if we wanted them, we could just pick them up. And I thought, you know, I can afford to buy books. I'm not gonna worry about picking up. But I went to the Blessed Sacrament Chapel about four days later. There was still some books. I said, okay, they've had time. It's been picked over. 
and I went in, I got two books, and apparently there's more downstairs in the Rural Father Will Hall too, but <laughs> probably a good idea not for me for not to go down there. Mm -hmm. uh, but I picked up uh, Joy to the World by Scott Hahn. This is like a meditation, I think, on... It is. On, uh, I mean, it's not like set up like a meditation book. It really is just set up like you're reading a, a book. A book. It's, it's leading into... You, this is something you would read during Advent. And that is where... the what, Christmas. That is the way I've read that in the past via Kindle. And then I got Meditation and Contemplation, an Ignatian Guide to Praying with Scriptures by Timothy Gallagher, OMV. And he's the one who did our um, Consecration to St. Joseph. And if I don't have that exact one on Kindle, I have something very similar by him. So, and he, this guy is a very good... Um, writer and his, mm. his, he's very intelligent and I enjoyed doing his, his um, Consecration to St. Joseph. I think I have a couple other things of his on Kindle. So this is good. And then for Mike's birthday we went, you know, first Davina and I and Mike went to um, to uh, the mall. Well first, well, I'll tell that in shopping news later on. Uh, we went to, to Winchester, we went to the mall and my husband went to look for some suit jackets for his birthday and I went to get some shoes and you know athletic shoes and Davina got a pair of flats and then we went to Hobby Lobby before we went home because Davina doesn't get out a whole lot because mm -hmm. we don't go anywhere anymore so we went to Hobby Lobby and Davina found some stuff that she needed and my husband found a few things to fix our dressers mine and Natalia's and then um, I was I hadn't gotten anything Mike don't you get anything I said well I hadn't had really a chance to look. We were kind of in and out. Mm -hmm. So I went out, and on my way out, this caught my eye. New stitches for circle looms. Oh, nice. And because I keep, I, I kind of put my looms away because I got frustrated with some of the stuff, um, how to do the stitches. And this looks like it's really clear. And I want to do this for Davina. Can you see that? Oh, yes, yeah, she like that. It's kind of like a pillbox hat almost. Yeah, yeah, she liked that. And it that. does a woven bottom, so it teaches you how to weave the bottom, and then you go from there. Oh, nice. And this, I think, might maybe push me into learning new stitches. That would be good. And then I have other books that Ty has given me or Laura's given me or whatever that Davina maybe gave me that I might be able to venture into doing more stuff. So this looks like it could be fun. Um, so that's the other, that's all my stash enhancements. That leads on to shop news. Okay, do you have any? I worked on designs, but since I don't show them, and I don't feel like lifting the one bag that I brought with me, and the other one's sitting on my desk because I'm actively working on it, you just imagine I lifted two bags. Those are the two designs I'm working on. Yeah. And the design that I'm working on, I think I'm going to rip it out and change it and mm -hmm. start again and see what I want to do with that. But um, that is actually the most integral part of designing is not having a problem. Mm -hmm. Rip, and I know for you it's a hand related thing, but yeah. Um, yeah, you can't design and not rip back. And I did do some, um, I did a new colorway, so I haven't quite settled on a name yet. Oh. You're really not. <laughs> um, at first, I thought it's gonna be more purple than it is. And then I thought maybe it's pink. It's not really pink either. So I have a couple of names going on in my head for this. These are fingering sock. I hope it's showing up better, more true to color on the small screen over there than it is in this big one because it's not that dull kind of mauve that I'm seeing. It's a very bright kind of pinky purple. Um. Okay. It's really pretty. I don't know if you, I hope you can see it better than it's showing up here. It's it's not brown. It's not red brown. It's pinky purple. Yeah, with my glasses on, it looks different. It so looks, it looks more like red brown with glasses. Yeah, it's not red brown at all. It's 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 pinky purple. I had thought about calling it raspberry beret, but I I don't know that that's gonna work so much with this. It's more of a feeling for raspberry mm. beret than it is like maybe the actual color. Davina said, or somebody said, it looked like the inside of a plum. I did. So your inner plum, <laughs> release your inner plum. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm not quite sure yet what this is going to be. I have a, another colorway in mind that I'm hoping to do this week. I had um, a fair amount of sales this past week um, for the mystery sales. I'm really happy and grateful that because a lot of the stuff, not the whole, but a lot of the profits are going toward Talia's uh, neurosurgery fund. 
and so I had several people pick up yarns from from PHN from um, from Adagio we had a person pick up I had people pick up from um, Instagram our local yarn store bless her heart mm -hmm. she said that she picked it up and I, I gave her about half my stock to I sold that to her and she said if I have any left over she'll take that too so um, yeah I, we're very grateful to the people who are supporting us the mystery along is still going I'm still adding yarns I will show you if I do new colorways if it's possible so you see what you have the potential to get that might be new um, if they're old I might not show you I just put it up but since something like this is brand new I would I'll show you that so you have an idea oh yeah there's something new in the shop and I might go up on Instagram so yeah the I'm not sure how long this mystery sale will go on maybe another couple of weeks maybe not um, we'll see how the sales go thank you very much to those who have purchased um, and those who are praying appreciate that um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else in the shop I think that's about it um, I will just I'll be re, you know putting more and more stuff in the shop as I said okay what else um, books. what books but uh, nothing for books oh, that's right we don't do that anymore sorry brain um, um thank yous and um <clears throat> then personal okay before we do personal <clears throat> excuse me it might not be very long because Ty can't seem to stay awake um and most of the personal is her stuff so we want to just say thank you to the people who don't want to hear the personal stuff um thank you for visiting with us thank you for commenting uh Brittany meditative crafter loony hiker Steph and Rena and if I miss somebody it's because you guys weren't there when I put my show notes together but we are very appreciative of all your comments I did not get to answer everybody I think I answered the people no I didn't I didn't answer anybody Ty answered on um PHN and mm -hmm. I just liked everybody on YouTube but we do read yeah, everything yeah. we try to um Ty Wake. no you're not <laughs> um we do try to um respond when we can I'm sorry that we weren't able to get to you guys this time we'll try to get to you sometime if we can um, so if you don't want to stay for the personal stuff we'll see you later we hope to see you here again next week for the Foon and the Woman Cave okay all right so um, update we are um, insurance denied uh, our, cl our claim for coverage for the surgery so um prayers would be appreciated uh my doctor is doing a peer-to-peer -peer. if that um doesn't go we are definitely gonna have to go self-pay um in order to get this surgery done we'd like to keep the date um because uh tethered core doesn't get better it gets worse it's a natural course of the condition it's a degenerative condition. It's, it's degenerative and <clears throat> we want to save as much of mineralogical function as we can and prevent any worsening damage so um, uh, that's where we're at right now um, so prayers would be appreciated um, thank you for anyone who has sorry there's noise uh, Thank you for, to anyone who has already given, mm -hmm. uh, who's donated. Uh, we appreciate that. Um, for uh, anyone who feels so called, we do have a link in the um, um, we, as, as always, there's no pressure whatsoever. No. It's just an FYI. It's just an FYI, mm -hmm. FYI. There's also a button that says pray, uh -huh. and we will definitely accept prayers. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so this is something that, you know, we pray about and we we're grateful for all the support that we've had yes, we've of had all all kinds of support yes. you know it, material spiritual everything mm -hmm. I mean there's just, been people who have if if they feel like that all they're able slash want to do at the time is share the information that's been helpful to share is awfully helpful yes yes, yes. we've uh -huh. had we've had people donate we don't know because mm -hmm. they've heard it from somebody else yes so we're very grateful for that um, they pass along the link mm -hmm. you know pass along my sale they do that and so it helps mm -hmm. and so we're grateful for that as well um, and we're just grateful for your support yes. you've always been supportive for me um, I had my first treatment for the uh, my jaw 
it lasted like five minutes. Uh, I thought so, you had one other one before. No, I, that was just a, uh, uh, I told you that was just a, um, it just, it wasn't a full treatment. It was oh, just okay. Kind of I didn't a, know that. It was just kind of a, I don't know what it was because it was free. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, and then this, this is my first actual treatment. It took about six minutes or five minutes. I mean, it was like three minutes on one side and a minute and a half on the other because that's not the side that's bothering me. Right. And, um. To be honest, I couldn't see how it works. I, I was in a lot of pain the next two days, but then there was a lot of weather. We've had a lot and of weather. And it was, it was very difficult for me to eat and open my mouth wide and things mm -hmm. like that. Um, I am supposed to pick up my muscle relaxants, which I haven't done because I really don't want to take them. And um, Well, you're taking them in the evening. Well, she said I don't have to take them every day. She said I can take mm -hmm. a PR and if I want to. Well, that, she, that's how those As she, as she, she said I uh, I can take a half, you know, half dose. I don't, mm -hmm. you know, so that's probably what I'll do is half dose at, lunch, at dinner time. Mm -hmm. And as you're sure you handle okay, maybe you can then move it a little bit so it's not affecting your date nights and stuff. Well, that's only one night, so, you know, yeah. the, the rest of the time would just um, sleep. But mm -hmm. um, because I, the, the other time I had muscle relaxants it knocked me out for the count I was out I they just probably can't. gave you more than you needed for probably your... well yeah especially since the other people who gave me the um, prescription this time I think they wanted me to do it three times a day and mm -hmm. a double dose of what I'm gonna do is a half dose she said you would my my the one for my jaw said you, you won't be able to function you it'll it'll fix that but you'll be mm -hmm. you'll be out for the count so so yeah uh, you, depending on when you had it they might have just wanted to take care as much of the discomfort as possible and let you be drowsy. But I couldn't do it. I have to be awake for Davina and mm -hmm. I have to, I have to. No, go, I mean at that know. time. That's yeah. probably why they. Oh, you're talking about the, the car when accident. You, yeah. When you mm -hmm. originally had, I'm not talking about this moment. Uh, yeah. They're talking about the second one. You're talking about, say, I'm talking about three different things. Oh, I didn't know there were three. I, there, there was the one in Colorado. Mm -hmm. There was the one here with our normal I didn't know dentist, you, had, you had another. And she gave. Oh yeah. But that's related to this one. Yes, but my point is, it's a different one than what I, mm -hmm. you know, she's cutting it in half. Anyway, mm -hmm. my point is, three times a day, double what I'm going to be taking now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's a lot of, that's a lot of, um, I'm not a real big girl. That's <laughs> well, you're supposed to not, not start from the top. You're supposed to titrate your way up, mm. you know. Um, well, as you said, that'll certainly knock it out, but knock you up also. So, <laughs> but that's all, that's all. I'm not going to do that. I'll, I'll take, I think it's like five milligrams or whatever it is, um, which is the half dose. And see how that works and if I if I tolerate it well and it's not too over sleepy I might go up to one mm -hmm. which is the full dose but mm -hmm. I probably won't I'll probably just do the half dose because I'm weird that way so yeah I think we probably should call this a, t a day because Davina, Davina Taya is not uh, lucid really and I'm not either so I'm lucid. no you're really not I've not said anything that I'm lucid no you haven't really just tra trail off and nod off and to the point where you <laughs> <laughs> doesn't mean I'm not lucid. You're not remotely, remotely lucid. Okay, we want to, we want to wish you guys a very, oh, do we have a, do we have a Zoom this week? Uh, not a Zoom, a, uh, live, yes. Okay. Friday. Oh, um, that's right. We hadn't talked about how we were going to just schedule for, yeah, I have, I might have to do it on Thursday. That's, wait, when's your hair appointment? Yours is Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. We're going to have to put a notation, Talia put it up, um, when we're going to actually have the live stream because I have to go out to Warrington for um, mm -hmm. for my dental dental thing for my jaw. It only takes three to five minutes, but we have to eat when we get back and all that. So, um, And I have to leave here about 11, 11, 15, because I have to be there 15 minutes early for my appointment, which is at 12. So, yeah, it probably won't be good to try and do it on Friday. No, probably not. Yeah. So, we we will let you know when it is going to be. Yeah. You're not going to miss it. We won't. We won't. We won't cut it out. I don't think. No. No. Um, just checking to see how many uh, weeks we have this month. I think we only have four because we had five last week, last month. You're probably right. Um, I should still have five. Do we? Two, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, hang on, sorry. I, I went part way into um, September. Oh yeah, we don't want to do September. That's something else. Yeah, it, it's almost five, but not quite. 
so so we'll we'll put a note Ty will put a note up um, we'll discuss it today and tomorrow probably and figure mm -hmm. out um, when it's gonna be the the actual live, live stream. stream okay so is that all we have to say I apologize for the disjointedness of this you guys are getting used to this I think I'm um, being a little disjointed um, but hey it's shorter it is shorter um, we want to wish you all a very blessed week full of knitting, crocheting, crafting, whatever it is makes your hearts happy. And we hope to see you here again for the Fun in the Woman Cave next week. This is the Pen, Hook, and Needles podcast, episode 516, and that's a wrap. <laughs> My, I just had to because you're driving me nuts. <laughs> that was just mean.